In this video, we're going to do a run-through sequence of a safe shutdown in NetGuard by a PowerShell Defender 1200 UPS on a Windows Operating System 7 or 7, Windows 7 Operating System computer. So let's go and look at NetGuard. Well, first of all, it's running in the background. Uh, so we'll just open up the browser and you can see it's a line interactive device by virtue of the line mode path around the UPS. And um, so let's go and disconnect the power to the input to the UPS from the wall socket. So I'll disconnect the power now. Okay, so you can see it goes into AC failure. And you can see that the input voltage goes to zero. This line path here is uh, non-existent. And power is being fed directly off the battery through the inverter. Uh, and producing a simulated sine wave output to the load. Okay, so let's go back and reconnect power to the input to the UPS, and I'll do it now. You can hear it clicking, it's coming back online. All right, we've got AC recovery, and that's indicated in the message window, and you can see it here. Um, it's you've got your 240 volts or 247.5 volts coming in from the wall socket and it's going through this line mode and then out to the load and no longer is the load being supplied directly by the battery okay now just to see what the UPS settings were set at for local shutdown well in this case it was set for 30 minutes a 30 minute runtime and um, You'll have a pop-up dialog box 60 seconds before the final shutdown sequence to warn the user that it will go into final shutdown. So let's just go back and look at uh, the power flow sequence again. All right. And noting that we have 240 volts coming in to the UPS and feeding the load. And But when I disconnect the power to the input to the UPS from the wall socket, you will see Power drops to zero, and now it's being fed directly off the battery through the inverter and simulated sine wave out to the load. And the message window basically is saying, uh, okay, you, you've gone back into AC failure, AC failure, and then the utility failure. So let's plug them back in. See AC recovery, 240 volts coming back in through the line mode. And one more time, just so that we're very, very clear on what's happening, I'll pull the plug again. AC failure, and you can see you can see this input drop out to zero. Power's been fed off the battery through the inverter and out to the load. Plug the power back in. AC recovery, and AC is fully restored through the UPS to the load. So there you have it. That's a safe shutdown sequence, although just the beginning of it, uh, on NetGuard on Windows 7 operating system using a PowerShield Defender 1200 UPS. Thank you very much for watching this video.